Good morning. Will you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Paul Moreau. Thank you. I'm the father of Roy Director. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. May I proceed, sir? Thank you. Yeah. I'm here today to speak on behalf of my grandsons, Anthony and Matthew Durante, my wife and I, who are the parents of Lori Durante, her sister, Tonda Daniel, and children, and her brother, Jeffrey Rowe. The nightmare that occurred on February the 20th 2003 will remain a dark cloud over all of us for the rest of our lives. For my grandsons, Anthony and Matthew, the last three and a half years plus have been hell on earth for both of them. Anthony was 15 and Matt was 12. Both boys were extremely close to their mother. They considered her their best friend. I remember Anthony telling me at the time of the tragedy, in tears, that he not only lost his mother, but also lost his best friend. Matthew, the youngest, was always by his mother's side. Lori worked at a nursing home and would work double shifts in order to attend their sport events. Both were active in basketball. She always had this on the top of her list. Lori was her biggest fan as they and everyone else could hear her cheering them on. Matt has told me many times he still misses hearing her in the stands when he's playing. As a result of this tragedy, my grandsons have spent the last three and a half years struggling in school and much time in and out of therapy. This is still a work in progress. For my wife, Betty, and myself, it has been pure agony. We continue to get through this by taking it one day at a time. A day never passes when we don't think of Lori. For her sister, Tonda, and her brother, Jeff, indelible marks have been left. Much of the fun and laughter we all once shared together as a family has been greatly diminished. This is true particularly over the holidays. My wife no longer looks forward to holidays. In closing, I'd like to tell you how much Lori loved working at a nursing home with the elderly. She loved them and they loved her. Lori is loved very much and we miss her tremendously. Thank you. Mr. Rowe.